hello and welcome to the video I am the cosmic turtle and thank you so much for giving me a chance and for checking out the channel so today we're going to be doing a little gameplay video for the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion on the Xbox Series X uh, so as far as I'm aware Oblivion is not uh, enhanced for the, the the X or the S it does however have auto HDR and FPS boost. Um, I don't think you can see this, but if you uh, so the game also has Xbox One X enhancements of some sort as well on top of the uh, the Series X ones. So we're going to start a new game. Um, I, I'm not sure yet. I haven't fully decided, but I might make this into a playthrough. Um, oh, actually, ago. has Oblivion. For sixty-five uh, years. As of today, I we're going to do just like a little hour or so of Oblivion. Um, for all these years, I've just to see how the game plays on Series X. Dreams. I have seen the gates of Oblivion, beyond which oh, no There's ninety-five people watching Oblivion. Behold. In darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Honestly, this game. I remember playing this and uh, talking with my friend Daniel and uh, Alex about Oblivion all the time when I was in comp. Such great times. This is the twenty seventh. I believe um, my friend Alex actually turned me on to the game, and he was one who like told me about it. And it just sounded really These cool, so I had to pop into Swansea and pick it up, era. so I did. And, uh, and that was it. It was my favourite game at that time uh, for, for a long time, I, I believe. Right, is it me, or does this kind of sound like Pirates of the Caribbean? I was definitely getting Pirates of the Caribbean vibes there. That, that was a bit... <laughs> oh, honestly, I can't remember when I played this game properly last. I did a um, like a little half an hour stream for this. I checked a moment ago. Uh, four years ago. On the Xbox One X for the channel. Uh, oh. Alright, alright. But I haven't actually played this properly for, I don't even know how many years. Uh, what race do we want to be? Cause you're <laughs> oh, look at the hair. Um, right, orc is my go-to character. Um, so, But I'm not going to do an orc. Who haven't I done? I'm pretty sure I've done an Argonian. I don't know if I've done a Breton. I've, I've done a Dark Elf and a High Elf. I think I've done an Imperial. I believe I've done a Khajiit. <coughs> I think it's Nord or Breton. I'm pretty sure I've done a Red Guard as well. So we go with Nord. Go for a Nord man. Oh, because they're from Skyrim. Citizens of Skyrim. Uh, hair. We'll just, uh... We'll just do loose. Uh, natural. Yeah, natural. Uh, yeah, I suppose light brown's fine. Eye colour. Uh, do you have... Um... There we go, green. My eyes are kind of green. I'm not even sure what the complexion does. Making his skin darker? I will leave the complexion kind of in the middle. I'll go back to... No wrinkles whatsoever. And there we are. Oh, uh. Um. Wait a minute. I know what we're gonna name him. I've gone off it for a second. I can't recall how the character's name is spelt. Skyrim. There we go. There we are. We are Ulfric. 
Ulfric Stormcloak, but we're just gonna be Ulfric. There we are. Uh, tutorial, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you why. This game. Uh, let's see if we can't do anything with the settings. Just leave difficulty as is, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Video brightness. We'll drop the brightness by two. I probably lowered all these down because it was too loud in the house with Evie. Yeah, but we'll do that. We'll, that, that should be fine. I've already checked that. We'll lap the difficulty. I don't even know how the difficulty works in these games. Um, I don't know why they're different. Yeah, I was hoping there might have been more like motion blur and stuff like that. So, ways one cost. My my. You're a big one, a Nord. Ah, oh, this not bad. Right. So strong. Yeah, yeah, you but guessed you right. Ben steel, can you, boy? You can't do oh, anything. Oh, I can't wait to kill him. Out of here. And those big we'll muscles. We'll see about that, boy. They're going to waste away. When the end comes, you won't even have the strength to cry for your mother. That's right. You're going to die, Mama. Here. You hear me, Nord? Hi, I can't said it. If you enjoy this, please consider leaving a like and subscribing hey, to the that? channel. Also, the if you'd like a full Xbox Series <laughs> X playthrough, let me know in the comments and um, I will definitely add it to the list of games. Because uh, as of as of recently and as of lately, I've been doing a load of um, uh, like new game playthroughs, like Hogwarts Legacy, right Resident Evil 4 Remake, What's Dead Space Remake, um, I'm going to be doing um, mix up with the watch. I... Jedi Survivor, what else am I going to play throughs for? Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill uh, you Crisis Core Remake, Stay put. Uh, Good. you know, looks Let's like I've been go. doing loads of new games, and being uh, a small channel that I am, you when you do the brand new games, I've seen you. Uh, it Sometimes it's good for the face. channel, other times you the it, like you get almost face. no traction. So right. in general I'm I'm much day. better off kind of God's playing older strength. games. And, and and I enjoy playing older games more for streams uh, in general to be fair, because like when I get a brand new game, the, the idea of only playing it for two hours a day sometimes By is grim. Like I'm going to, to stream uh, Jedi Survivor, but that's the last brand new game that I'm going to be streaming for the moment. Um, why am Perhaps I in jail? The gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you, oh yeah, done, I'm sure that's what it was. It does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. No. Who are you? I am your emperor. Like I says his name right there. <laughs> By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. You what will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Ah, the blades. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. This is your concern. lucky day, prisoner. Stay out of our way. Ha ha! Fuck you, son. I'm gonna pop out of here. But yeah, honestly, th this game, like, it doesn't hold up as well visually if you compare it to, you know, like. Skyrim or Fallout 4, because obviously they are very, uh, very similar games to this. Then you got Fallout 3, which I suppose is a sort of similar place. Oh no, not the captain! Let me just, uh, let me just borrow this stuff here. Ah, oh, I've got to get used to all this stuff again. Ah! Yeah, fuck you. Well done, team. We're doing this together. Captain Ren. She's dead. Sorry, sir. Oh no. She got hit right in the uh here? the sexism she did. Don't worry, sir. We will get you out of here. 
they won't be the first All right to under equal rights. the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. Best trouble in my head. Prison. Don't try to follow us. I bet yet. Or even more so, she got smacked in the face with that uh, toxic masculinity there. Oh no! Rats or skeever? No, no, no. They are rats in this. It's uh, skeevers in um, Skyrim, in it. Hello? Yeah. Oh, why is his mouth open so much? It's on the floor. Oh my god! Doesn't know I hit him. Oh yeah, I'll have those. Thank you very much. Oh. Uh, friend, do you have to have some lockpicks on you by any chance? If you don't... Oh, cool. Ah, oh, it's this one, yeah. So you hit it up and then you tap A. So you left stick to knock it upwards. And then you uh, press A to lock it in place. What we got? Yeah, I'll have that. Uh, can you... Oh, I can hotkey. Alright, we'll chuck you on the bottom for now. And chuck you on the top. No, chuck you on the top. It doesn't matter which one I put on the bloody top. Uh, did I get... Oh yeah, I got some boots as well. And we'll chuck you left, and we'll chuck you right. There we go. So now... Yeah. Let me go down, and then we've got a shield. Right, if the torch is equipped, why aren't you showing me the torch? Alright. Torch equipped. There we go. So. Right. Sorry, I had an itchy ear. Um, yeah, so basically, the torch doesn't need to be equipped. Uh, when you equip the shield, the torch goes away. When you unequip the shield, the torch comes back. I ought to club them and eat their bones! Ah! Get out of here, you little punk. I like how all the rats look so surprised when you kill them. Touching the floor. Ah, zombie. Gotta get my delicious and nutritious rat meat. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need those. More rats. Hey. Tell you what though, the, the enemies that I miss the absolute most from Oblivion that I was gutted to not see in uh, Skyrim and I really hope they bring them back in a similar fashion. If they bring them back but they're very different and I don't care, they may as well not be there. Um, in a similar fashion is the goblins. Oh, I love the fucking goblins in this game. They look so dopey and derpy just... <laughs> running at you and jumping in the air, swinging their swords like maniacs. I absolutely love it. Ooh, got a chest. Oh. Ah! My lockpick! Okay. Damn it. Ah! Ah! Ah, oh, come on! Ah! No!
Yeah, I, deli I did that deliberately for suspense. How about no? What do you think about it? It was deliberate, it was deliberate! To quote my main man. I say speaking of rats, this has absolutely nothing to do with rats. Rusty cuirass. Hey, give me you, it's got more defense. Check all this on. Yeah, may as well. Why would they give me everything except a nice pair of greaves? Not greaves, um, gauntlets, or whatever they call them in this. They might have brought the goblins back um, for Elder Scrolls Online, because that had a um, a Tamriel section, didn't it? So they very well could have brought it back for. Yeah, idea. On guard. Stealthy because then I can gain uh, stealth points too. Nice and easy does it every time. Hmm. You can hot. I've already hot keyed items. Fire, so I don't bump into the bloody. Uh, yeah, so we got a fancier shield now. Yeah, they have value, may as well take. Needed your bum. Sneak up a little bit in Robert S. Pearson would be proud. Indeed. There we are. Got a pestle and mortar. But I'm not going to go stealthy archer the whole playthrough. Thank you. Hey, I mean, I got uh, six lockpicks back from the six that I deliberately uh, broke, of course. Boost us, uh, boost our sneak up. Is that one? That's a goblin, isn't it? Right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love this game, honestly. Like I say, it doesn't look as beautiful as I once remember it looking. But it does... It's not like um, nostalgia glasses or nostalgia being shattered. Because I know that this game doesn't look 
as amazing as it once did, but it does look how I remember it looking, if you get me. <laughs> you done good, logs. You done good. Damn fine job. I wonder why these guys all have so many lockpicks. They were all saving up so they could open that damn average lock. They've been practicing on the very easy ones, but they were getting ready for the big boy. Alright. Hello there. Goodbye there. Oh, it's called Marksman, not Archery. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's more goblins in here. Oh, there, there. Nailed it. Where's that one? It's blinder than I am. I think I would have noticed a person stood right next to a torch. <laughs> oh, is that one? I think that might be one. It is one. Ah, I tell you, I'm too good. No one's going to believe me that I'm legally blind now. <laughs> oh, there he is. I was wondering who he was. I got a hundred arrows! Jesus! How'd I get so many? I don't think there's anyone else in here. Oh no, this game has the horrible over encumbered, doesn't it? Where your character just can't move anymore. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, sir, you must help me. I refuse to drop these items, but I'm rooted in place. I can't go anywhere. There we go. So we can uh, better see the goblins. Ah, there he is. <sighs> Fine. Let's, uh, how much rat meat have I got? 34 rat meat! Jeez. No, I'm gonna just eat those. I'll probably just sell the rat meat, because. Other than right there when I had to. to uh... Oh, actually, wait a minute. Do I have a better sword? 25 damage. No, 2 damage. Also two damage. We have the iron longs over a steel short sword. <laughs> Doesn't look quite as nice, does it? Ah, ready to trek out into the big, big bad world. So the game loads really quick on the uh, on the Series X. There's no denying that. Visually, the game looks really clean, really nice. Um, like obviously the graphics aren't impressive, but everything just looks so clear and just nice. Damn it! It's that prisoner. Hello, friends. Kill him. Ah, he might be working with the assassins. How can I be working with the assassins? No, one of them. He can help us. He Thank must you, help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the nine. Oh my god. How they guide our fates with an invisible Rings hand. of power stole that line from oblivion. 
You have not seen what I have seen. I have seen enough. You have not seen what I have seen. <laughs> I'm not on good terms with the gods. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles so, uh, of the heavens. A bit random, but Demon the Slayer is so good. Just finished Volume sparks, 5 like yesterday. And every uh, I mentioned in a previous side. stream. I, got, like, I think I'm up to Volume 11 I have currently. And I wonder... Which so good. Your uh, I'm up to date with the manga, uh, anime. I need to watch. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Um, 100 point bonus to magic, but gives you 100% weakness to magic. Well, that's useless. Is it, have they got the steed? Uh, gain 20 speed. Pardon me. No, it's um, Skyrim that the speed gives you um, a higher carry and weight. Being born under the Lord gives you the blood of the North, uh, lesser power to ge to regenerate 90 points of health. Thief uh, grants you 10 point bonus points to agility, speed, and luck. Well, that's 30 extra skill points. That's amazing. What's this? 50 extra magic. Uh, 10 bonus points to your will and endurance. That's good. That's an extra 20 skill points. So you can either be um, greedy, or you can also get take a step in the right direction, but without uh, kneecapping yourself. So either you gain 50 magic and no downside, or 100 magic, but you you take twice or double damage to magic. Uh, what was the steed again? 20 bonus or uh, 20 points to speed. The tower key power once a day. Open a door container. Of average or less. You can see, but the tower warden reflects. Yeah, but the the tower key becomes useless after a certain point. Gain ten points towards strength and endurance. Uh, what, what, what were we thinking? Agility, speed, and luck. So yeah, go on, we'll get uh, the thief. No, the warrior. Oh, we'll go warrior. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Oh. What about Your me? Your stars are not mine. <laughs> what Today, about me? What do I get? A stalwart companion when fortune fades. Can you see my, my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death, but in your face oh. I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Aren't you afraid to no die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh oh, and blood. Good to know. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my yes, apportioned fate, course. then fall. Where I are we go going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. Oh, you God, damn, this guy is such a Debbie Downer. Then we must part. May as well make yourself oh, useful. Jeez. Carry that torch and stick close. Stick close. I am carrying a job. torch. You'll be all right. Well, hop two, son. Hop two. Come on. He's getting away. So I remember playing Skyrim and the bl when the blades show up, it was such a like, oh my god, it's the blades moment. Yeah, well done, gang. We got this. Yeah, I'm not going to take part so much in this fight because um, it's so easy to accidentally hit someone and then um, I'm pretty sure they try to kill you. I might be misremembering that. But I'm pretty sure things will go sh tits up if you... Uh, Start. Hey! What's the matter? How dare you? Shit, man, he was about to drop some uh, 
diss track level insults then. The way how he was ramping up. I'm just getting started, you! I didn't like what he was going with that. I was like, oh no, he's gonna he's gonna dig deep and he's gonna he's gonna cut even deeper. But thankfully he was silenced. Come on, gang. Hold up. I don't like this. Hold Let me up. take a look. We sure we can trust Barnabas back there? Oh, hello. Who are you? Glenroy. Oh, okay. Oh, so I mentioned it uh, when I streamed yesterday, um, doing Star Ocean. With, uh, what's it called? The Tears of the Kingdom gameplay reveal was so good. Absolutely amazing. Not gameplay reveal, sorry. The final trailer. Absolutely loved it. Thought it was phenomenal. But. I find I feel really bad for Final Fantasy and Square Enix because no one's talking about the Final Fantasy 16 gameplay video or like reveal Today. or whatever that they did yesterday. No, no one's talking about I don't it. Don't see any good options here. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. I'll just chill by here. With your life. We'll do, boss. can go no further. Ah. You alone must okay. stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not the have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws Fly, you of fools. oblivion. Do you find you, your well. majesty. You chose hey. bad thing. You're lucky I like them. Hello. The he left you back in. Tell of sailors. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the Emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. The Emperor Strange. gave it to me. He saw something in me. Trusted him. They say it's the Why does he believe me? Why why doesn't he think I took it off his coats? They see more than less of that. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crowd. Bow down just to the Bow the down to the power. King. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I must Joffrey. take it to Joffrey. He said that? Why? There is Nothing another heir. Heard about, but Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. Wainan Priory. Okay, First, how do I get you there? Need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key yeah. for the last door into the sewers. There are rats oh. and goblins. You okay over there? But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced acrobat. Am I right? An experienced acrobat? Hello. Um... No, I don't plan on being an experienced acrobat. Custom class. Uh, combat. Our two favoured things. Um, probably just endurance. Strength, I guess. Poisonality. Seven major skills. Um, we're going to go... Merchantile, because you buy and sell stuff all the time. Um, security, pick locks all the time. Where's alteration? Alteration, because you can get a spell to unlock a door and shoot out the door repeatedly, and then you win. Uh, blade, armorer, 
what are we on now? That's three, four, five. We've got two more. Um, heavy armor and I guess block. Us, yeah, adventurer. That'll do. That'll do fine. I am an adventurer. Hey, why can I have a cooler picture? Really? I would never have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have <laughs> any trouble with rats Really? You must get the animal to drive. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Immediately. Yes, I Good. understand. The Emperor's trust was well placed. You don't know that yet. What about you? I'll stay what here to you guard do? the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. Oh yeah, right. Um, where's your mate? Ah, no, Glenroy. Your gold will be spent wisely, my friend. I'm not sure if they're installed, but I have the DLCs for this game. Do I have them in downloaded? Oh no, I don't have them. Maybe I didn't buy them for the new console, but I had all the DLCs. Or, um, aha, there we go, for Oblivion, because I bought the special edition of the game that gives you, uh, you know, Knights of the Nine, which is a cool DLC. You get a suit of armor that makes it so animals don't attack you when you, like, regenerate health and stuff. Each part of the outfit gives you a, no a different bonus. So you got, you know, the helmet, the gloves, the boots, the leggings, and the chest piece. That's obviously not what they're called. But, you know. Ah! Have at you! Huh. <laughs> ah! Goblinos! I got to just block in. It's like, yeah, fuck you and fuck your block. Silver nugget. It's not quite a golden nugget, and it probably doesn't taste yee-haw, but it's probably still pretty good. I love this game so much. Excuse me. Oh, this is... It was a, fl a friendly sewer rat. If only I noticed sooner. He may have survived. Now we're all good. I don't think there'll ever be a time where I won't love playing like current and older Bethesda games, especially uh, games in the vein of Elder Scrolls and Fallout. Uh, I so desperately want an Oblivion remaster and a Fallout 3 remaster. I'd also love a um, New Vegas remaster. But I am part of the, I suppose, I'm not sure if it's a, you know, how big of a split it is. But I believe I'm in the minority uh, of people who prefer Fallout 3 over New Vegas. I just always have. Although I do enjoy Fallout New Vegas a lot more now than what I did before. So we're following that red thing on the map there. I'm not entirely sure what the... The expected way to travel there is like obviously with Skyrim, it's very apparent the way that they want you to go. Acrobatics, ha! Huh. 
Oh, I should have mentioned this ages ago. But also, if you'd like me to do um, a playthrough or at least just a video on Morrowind, also let me know that in the uh, in the uh, comments because. I did plan on doing it, and I delayed it for a while, and then I just deleted Morrowind off the Xbox. So, if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the uh, like I say, let me know in the comments. I might still do just a gameplay video for Morrowind, so I can still uh, I can pose the question there if people would like to see a playthrough. Let me know in the comments in that video, and I can say it's earlier than 41 minutes in. Oh, that's what I meant to say. Like, I couldn't, when I made that joke about that woman dying earlier, and I kept saying stupid stuff, because I couldn't, I had one, and then it disappeared from my head straight away. It was, she was hit right, she got hit right in the equality, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> and I never got it. I, could, I, I came up with similar ones, but after that one disappeared from my mind the second I thought of it, I, I couldn't quite get it back. I said equal rights, toxic masculinity, and something else. Oh! Ha! Yeah, that's right, Wolfie. So, you know, this game, story-wise, I remember being fantastic. Like, I remember doing and loving the Thieves Guild in this one, because you get to become the Grey Fox. What is this? Activate Hestra Runestone. The stone stirs under your hands. Do you seek to conjure weapon and armor? Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Look at me. Aha, me and my little Daedric sword. Yeah, may as well, huh? I, uh, yeah, you get to become the Grey Fox. I remember that being really cool. I don't recall the overall... Oh, no, I do remember for the... Um, uh, the Dark Brotherhood, where is is it Uriel? No, no Uriel Septim. That's the fucking emperor that we just spoke to. Um, Lucian or L Lucius or something. I'm pretty sure. Like he's the the leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and you go through a story with him, and there's like a story of treachery and but oh god, that was a popping uh, and betrayal. It was really cool. Uh, I don't remember the Fighters Guild very well. All I remember is you have to defeat rats for your first mission. And I also don't remember the Mages Guild very well, other than I didn't like it to begin with. Because you've got to go to at least three of the uh, Mage Guilds. But, ah! The most vicious of all creatures! A mud crab. Uh, you've got to go to at least three, or maybe all of the... Um, uh, the the mages guilds and kind of like I want to join the mages guild and then when enough of them say fine you can join then you're finally allowed to start going through the missions and I remember just really disliking that but I don't remember what the actual story for the mages or the fighters guild is outside of those two things I'm going to have to check though to see if I have the DLC for this game, because if I don't, I'll be quite annoyed, because like I say, I had the DLC on a disc, uh, and I don't know if I have that disc anymore. What the hell is this? A well. You have drawn power from the well. Alright, I got another thing now. Look at me go. Three buffs. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually mention what, when I brought up Final Fantasy earlier and I said like, I feel sorry for for them because no one's talking about their game. But it does actually look really good. Like Graphically, it looks gorgeous. The world looks really cool. Uh, you appear to have like a castle as your little um, your little hideout, your base. Kind of, kind of gave me... Um, uh, what's it called now? Gerig Mark? I forgot. I, I I forget the pronunciation, but you know, the the Witcher stronghold in The Witcher Three and probably Two and One as well. But 
I've never completed two, or I've like I'm not sure how far into it I go. I, I I played it a bit, but I never finished it. And I'm not sure if I um, I've never played one though. That one was on PC. We need to go back to number. I'll kill it in one less attack. That's good. So, so that was cool. I, I wonder if you get to actually upgrade it and customize it. Because they mentioned you find people in the world and um, like bring them back to your castle. I, I think they mentioned that, or maybe I'm just making shit up. But I'm pretty sure they mentioned you can like find people and rescue them, and some will become companions and fight alongside you, and others probably become merchants or whatever in your little stronghold. But it looks cool, and the the summons looked amazing. They showed quite a few summons. Um, showed Ifrit, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut. Um, there's like three or four other ones I can't remember the names of now. So, uh, that that um, the one that uses air, like the wind one. I can't remember his name. They showed that one. Might have been the same one, but just a redesign. But there's also this one that was kind of like uh, a bird woman. And I think that is the same, the same like wind air one. Because it's, it's the one that um, in Final Fantasy X, what's her name? The main girl, I forget, I forgot her name. But it's her summon at the start of the game. It's like one of the ones that she starts with. Or maybe the only one she starts with, I don't, I don't remember. I'm not sure if I ever completed Final Fantasy X, like in my initial. No, yeah, I did. I've completed it once years ago on the PS2, because um, I remember my friend Jay lent me Final Fantasy X 2 and that one I didn't finish, but I got Final Fantasy X and X 2 on the PS4. So I may, I may need to go back and actually finish that on the PS4 version. So I can't remember if I got past it, but I know I got to a part where. This monster of some kind was trying to push me off a cliff into a river, and it did twice. And I think I was trying to get an achievement to not let it push me down or something. And I got annoyed, or I don't, I don't recall. Oh, you've arrived at Wainan Prior. Hey, I'm pretty sure I did not go the way that they intended. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, so, oh god. So, we started here at the Imperial City. Um, where's the prison? Oh, prison? Ah, right, so we started here. So they probably expected us to cross to here, and then walk up this road maybe, and then walk across this road, down here, and then up this road here. And we kind of just went like this. Something like that. <laughs> But it's fine, we're here now. Hello there, friend! Greetings to I you. I like your club. Um, why have you got a club? Aha! It's worth four gold. I'll probably sell that for one gold in a shop. Yes? Hello! Can I help you? You got a shit haircut, mate. My business is private. I must He's speak upstairs. to Joffrey. Go ahead. Thanks, friend. Get a haircut, you look better bald. You Joffrey? I'm Brother you Joffrey. Are Joffrey. What do you want? I am Father Ryan. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see. Uh, I don't feel like it. No, I can't Why go off it. I? This is the amulet of kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? I am Ulfric Stormcloak. Tell the Emperor. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange oh, destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Bow down to the... Bow down to the King. Who is the Prince of Darkness? Close shut the jaws of oblivion? Who is the, the Prince, Prince of, of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, 
one of the lords of the demonic Name's world of oblivion. Dagon. The emperor's <laughs> words, My man. close shut the jaws of oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from oblivion. But all the scholars agree yeah, that the might, mortal uh, world come is to that conclusion, I suppose. the danger of oblivion by magical barriers. Okay, I see why I lowered the music. <laughs> it kind of swells quite high. I'm not sure. Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals yeah, of coronation. Yeah, I didn't lower the TV the at all of for this is ancient. Saint Alicia herself the TV? It from the gods. Yeah, it I've lowered it down now. Of great power. It's okay. When an emperor is crowned, Hopefully he uses the amulet the to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in Oh no. It may be that the oh, dragon goodness fires me, this is terrible news. A threat that only the emperor was aware of. How am I going to warm up my ass cheeks on the dragon fires now? I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years what? ago I served as captain of Uriel's it, it's, it's a it's a very Today, valid question. One night Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. He From never told me anything else about the baby. About the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is right. the heir to so the on my, throne, um, if he my previous lives. Oblivion video, uh, I got a person of this person, a comment of this person named Sour Kyle, saying, "Breville looks really nice, besides the weird plank problem." Which I'm guessing I noticed something when I went to Breville and pointed out there was a weird Martin. problem with the planks. Like maybe Agatha they were disappearing the or something. Of Kavad, so before we finish up the stream today, we're going to finish this conversation here with, with Joffrey. Likely, and then we're going to go to Breville and, and find out if, let me know if, there's anything you need. if the plank problem the still exists. Limited, and also to refresh our memories and remember what this plank problem is. Because I cannot no remember time. for the life of you me. Must find Martin before the um, the let's read does. his book. It's a, it's, a, it's a good book, there, friends. So yeah, I do believe. Maybe after you finish the first quest, I'm sure you're allowed to use this chest by here. Your first priority. Um. Stay okay. Safe. Okay. I shall. I shall. Need a key. Yeah. Honestly, th this this is one of. For me, at least, the best 360 games. So we're in, um, no, we, we're near Sharol, but not actually inside it. Can I fast travel? Oh, I can. I can just fast travel to Brazil, I think. Oh, you beautiful game. All right, we'll fast travel to a few of the towns then. Just have a little, uh, little nose. All right. Uh, let's, oh no, it's night time. We'll wait a little bit longer, so it's... Nice and bright. Yeah, ten o'clock. Hopefully it'll stop raining then as well. Alright. Didn't stop it from raining though. Let's see if the weird plank problem still persists in uh, Braville. I might have to load up my video because the guy's actually timestamped it for me as well, which is rare. Usually people don't give me timestamps. So I never, especially, uh, what's his name now? Uh, Dobbs Bob. Nice guy. Comments on my videos quite a lot, which I really appreciate. He, he seems to love my Fable videos. But he never timestamps what he comments on it. So like, he'll say something which is clearly helpful, but I don't know what he's referring to. Even though I've I've mentioned it multiple times to like uh, in Fable videos, I've said it to him um, in the hopes that he hears it, but he never gives me timestamps, so I just don't know what he's referring to. It's like, oh yeah, that thing is um, you've got to go by the pier in the town. Like, For what? Why why do I need to go there? Like, he doesn't give me what time, so I know what he's referring to, and. Uh, it's annoying in a sense because I like to know why, not why, like what he's helping me with, but I, I just have no idea. All right, I'm guessing it's these planks. What is but it? So far, either there's something about these planks that bugged me before that aren't bugging me now, 
or just the game has been uh, smoothed out a little bit on on the Series X. But what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to quickly load up the video on the iPad here to the timestamp that uh, our main man Sour Kyle has given us. And I'm going to see what planks he's specifically referring to and then I'm going to check them. So I can confirm if after four years the plank problem has been resolved. Because the people must know. The people crave an answer for this. Alright, what was the timestamp? 24 minutes and 15 seconds. Alright, let's have a look. Make sure the volume's down, because I don't want Ryan from four years ago to come blasting through the mic here. There we go, that's lower down. 24 minutes and... Greetings, Nord. 15 seconds. Back. Yeah, 2411. Where was I? Oh, okay. I see. I see. So it's not actually something that I that I called out or that I brought up. It appears to be if you go. Oh, wrong one. Uh. If you go outside Breville, when you cross the bridge, the uh, the planks kind of went really bizarre. So I did this, I looked over there, and then I turned back. And these planks were odd. Hi there. Right, wait a minute. Let's watch the video again. This time I'll up the volume a little bit. So let's see, did I actually refer to the planks at all? I don't like to listen to myself talk. I'm going to sacrifice. No, no, I don't refer to the planks at all. Um, so that was something there that Sour Kyle uh, was picking up. And like I say, when you cross the bridge, doing the same thing as what I did last time, which was that, I looked over here, and then I turned back. Uh, yeah, the planks appear to be fine, Kyle. Um, I hope this uh, resolves any problems that you noticed there with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the planks. And uh, yeah, it, see, it does seem from watching that uh, 10 seconds there that the game definitely looks nicer on the Series X compared to the One X. It like it's unquestionable. It, it definitely looks nicer, um, in my opinion. Obviously, this could be a um, a YouTube sort of decompressing or whatever YouTube does lowers the quality of the video. And that's why it doesn't look as nice. Could definitely be that. And uh, excuse me, my lord. I'm sorry. Uh, to I am a lord, aren't I? But I'm in need of assistance, and I don't know what to do. Who are you now? My husband, Alaron, is, is missing. But with a name like Alaron, how could he not Alaron be missing? Alaron became foolish and started gambling. He'd visit the arena every week and yep. spend all hard-earned money on bets. The folly of men. I told him to stop, but he didn't listen. He was certain he could win us a yep, fortune the folly and move us somewhere nicer, like the Imperial City. It didn't take long for Alaron to begin losing. He resorted to borrowing money from a usurer to cover his losses and place new bets. As you can imagine, it didn't pay off. He ended up owing around 500 gold. We could never have oh. that kind of money to pay back the usurer. Yesterday, the usurer, Curden Grow Dragal, sent for my husband to meet him at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. He hasn't returned since. I fear for his life. Curden isn't known for his patience. Please, I'm not wealthy. But I'd give anything to see Alaron again. You... I'll help you. You will? Oh, thank you. Well, I can't Please get off this dialogue if, unless I agree I to help you. I don't wish any harm to befall you either. Oh, that's very kind of you to Farewell say. And be right. So, what are we going to do... 
uh, before we finish up here for the day, I am going to quickly, as I did last time, fast travel to a few different, um, oh god, a few different areas of the map, just so we can have a quick little nose of them, and also so I can get them nostalgia juices pumping, because like I say, I'll see, can I get some nice weather in one of these cities, please? Is that, I it does look cool though, when the lightning cracks in the background. Um, yeah, like, the this game is this is my comp years. Remember going to Sandfield's comp, talking like I say to Daniel and Alex about this, finding different dungeons and locations on the map and sharing them with the, with each other, you know. And uh, yeah, just great times. Uh, Leowin is a uh, completely unremarkable looking place. I do like the building design though. But yeah, there's uh, nothing uh, too fancy about this location, sadly. Uh, we'll go to one or two more locations. What have we got here? Let's zoom out. No. No. Okay, stuck with this. Reveal. Uh, Shaden Hall. Burma. Sharrell. Skingrad. Ooh, go get Skingrad. Oh, yeah. Kavach. Is someone after Kavach? Anvil! I remember Anvil. There's a quest there where you get a house, isn't it? Well, when you buy the house, you get a quest because it's like haunted by ghosts or something. Skingrad. Oh, I remember this one as well. This is the town um, where the the king or whatever the ruler of the towns are called in this is this is it this one or is this Skyrim? One of them has a vampire. I'm sure it's Oblivion and Skingrad. And the um the main man who is the uh the leader whatever they call him the Count If he's a vampire, he better be a count to be fair. Alright, let's go to the mini map. Where's the cat oh god, where's the castle? Castle Skingrad. Let's just fast travel to the castle. And we're going to pop inside. So. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is badass as hell. All the torches. That's really cool. Although... Oh yeah, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but like I said, we are playing this with um, boosted FPS. So... I don't know about you, but it's... On my end, it's been battery smooth. Haven't noticed any frame drops or anything like that. This is actually feeling very much like the the one that I thought it was. Come on, where's where's um where's the skin skin grad boy? If he is what I think he is, he will be awake now. Out my legs. Oh, here we go. There's a door. That one's also locked. I need to find. All right, maybe he's pretend. Oh, it's five in the morning. Yeah, that'll do. Good morning. No, it's not you. What is it now? No, yes. it's not you. Hi there. Glather is acting even stranger than usual. Don't you think? Good day. Oh, we got a new topic. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. What down here? Oh, two more doors. Oh, it seems like all the doors are locked. That's not a door. That's not a door at all. Ooh. Ah. Hello. Yes, acrobatic example. We'll not see you now. Not now. Ah. Not ever. He sees no one. I'm Mercator Hosidus, his steward. I believe he is a count that's all you need to know. You too. All right. Yeah, this is definitely the place where the count is a vampire. 
I'll definitely play the game. But yeah, we're gonna leave it by there for today. Like I say, if you wanna play through for this, please let me know in the uh, in the comments, and I will definitely add it to the list, and uh, I will get to it in the near future. Oh, we'll just end it there. Look at that. Might make that the thumbnail. Or better yet, before we finish it off, I'm gonna try to find a nice thumbnail. I think what I'm thinking is the Imperial City. But like, um, go there, maybe. And just look at the Imperial City from across the bridge. But yeah, so, like, at the moment, I'm gonna be doing, um, this may not work, a playthrough for. Uh, what we got? We got Atomic Heart, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do a playthrough of that in a timely manner, because it just didn't really capture me. Uh, uh, it felt a bit clunky when I was playing it, so I'm not sure when I'll be doing a playthrough for that. But that's in the, in the mix. We got that Jedi Survivor when that comes out. I want to be doing a an impossible difficulty playthrough of the Dead Space remake, which will be soon, maybe Monday. I'm currently on chapter 11 of 12, so I'm very close to the end of that. Um, then I can uh, do New Game Plus and do an impossible. I want to do all three Fable games again. I've got a uh, a difficulty, not difficult, like a challenge playthrough that I want to do, which I think would be really interesting, and I think uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Usually, like a nice landscape is the best thing to do with these old games to give people uh, just a small picture to encapsulate how good the game looks now on the new console. Um, well, that could work from this angle. Oh, yeah, look, then you've got the reflection in the water as well. What do you reckon? That's, I think that's a pretty nice one. Torch? No. A sword? No. Yeah, I think I'll just have it like that. But yeah, I'm going to do Fable. Uh, I'm very happy to do a playthrough for an Oblivion and Sky uh, not Skyrim. Um, Morrowind, possibly. Morrowind would be a blind playthrough. I've never actually played it. Uh, I also want to do a playthrough for Midnight Suns. Um, I'm waiting until all four DLCs come out of Midnight Sun, though, and then I'm going to do a playthrough with the main game and the DLCs as well. And I also need to do the final boss for Star Ocean, but my character's not quite ready for it, so I need to do some grinding off camera. Probably get between 5 and 15 levels, then come back to it. So I'm hoping to finish that up before the end of the week, uh, before the end of next week. It's Friday today, just to be clear. So it's w within a week. I'm hoping to be done with that. Um, and yeah, and then after Jedi Survivor. Uh, I'm going to be calming down on streaming the brand new game the moment it comes out. I would like to do a playthrough for Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. Because I've done Integrate, like the DLC Integrate, and I've done Crisis Core. And I would like to do Final Fantasy Remake Part 2. Uh, was it Rebirth? Um, so, again, I'm not, like, not going to do that day one. I might do first impressions for day one, but I'm not going to do... Um, a day one playthrough of that. I'm also considering doing Ghostwire Tokyo on the Xbox. So I've done a, a first uh, impressions of the Xbox version of the game, so I might do a playthrough for that as well. And I think that's everything that I would like to mention as of right now. Um, in terms of playthroughs. Oh, actually, no, I do have Route B for Nia Replicant. That I would like to do at some point. It's just got like half an hour, 40 minutes of fucking block text at the very start of the game, and the characters don't even speak it, so I have to read it all, and it'll kill my throat talking for 40 minutes uninterrupted straight. And I know I can't do it. I, I, I like every time I try doing that, when I just read a load, my throat kills. It's why I had to stop doing um, old Final Fantasy games because they just murder on my throat because no one talks. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And again, if you have enjoyed this and would like a full playthrough on the Series X, let me know in the comments. If you'd like a playthrough for Morrowind, let me know in the comments. And also, if there's any other game that you would recommend and would like to see a playthrough for. If I own the game, I will do a playthrough for it. If I don't own the game, 
I will make it uh, make a point of looking into the game to see if it looks like something I would enjoy. And uh, if it is, I'll pick it up and I'll do a playthrough for it. So yeah. Uh, or if you just want to have a chat, check out my Twitch and we can just chill, have a chat, play some games and uh, happy days and all that stuff, you know. So yeah, thank you for watching. Take care and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye now. And I really hope you have enjoyed this. It's been fun streaming it. I, I enjoyed uh, mixing it up and jumping away from Star Ocean. <laughs> I, I haven't enjoyed that as much as I would have liked, which has been a disappointment. Like, it's been disappointing that I haven't enjoyed it, not the game's been a disappointment.